Just put soap on popcorn and you never have this problem again. That's exactly what you heard, folks. But come down, it's not for you to eat. This is an amazing hack that I'm pretty sure it's gonna help a lot of people out there. So let's start it, shall we? First thing you gotta do is to turn on the heat. And now we're gonna add a drizzle of frying oil here, alright? Oil in. And next you're gonna add about one finger of corn. Just a little bit, okay guys? So let's add the corn. And now let's pop the corn in the traditional way. Just make regular popcorn. And here it is folks. The popcorn has popped and as you can see it's just a little bit of corn. Now let's do the following. Get a container, preferably with a lid, okay? Okay, so the popcorn's not hot anymore. And now, just go ahead and crush the popcorn, see? Crush it like a thick dust. You don't have to make it very thin. Just don't leave it whole. Okay, that's great. Check this out. This amount here will do the job. And now, here's the thing. Grab a soap. It might be the cheapest one you can find, don't worry. If you prefer, it can even be laundry soap, no problem. Now take a grater and with the thinnest side, let's grate a little bit, alright? It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little. Now let me just finish grating this and I'll show you. Alright, here it is. You see this amount? That's it, you don't need much. Look at the soap. I only use it the tip of it. And now to finish, we're gonna add baking powder. I'm sure you got this at home. Let's add two tablespoons here, okay? And if you don't have baking powder, you can use baking soda instead. That's gonna work too. So put it here. Now we're gonna close this container. And then let's shake it to mix all these ingredients very well. Give it a nice mix. And here it is folks, it's finally ready. And if you didn't understand what this is yet, this is an excellent poison for cockroaches and mice. But especially for cockroaches, they are attracted to the smell of popcorn, okay? Then they end up eating it. And this way, they also eat the soap and baking powder. And the thing is, they cannot digest this mixture because of the composition of the baking powder and the soap. So this way, you get rid of mice and cockroaches in your house once for all. And now, just take a small amount and spread it in places that you're noticing cockroaches and rats passing by. Here at home, it is especially in the pen cabinet. I already noticed some cockroaches here before, so I'm gonna apply it here, especially in hot seasons. So guys, this is what I've been doing. Take a small amount and spread it in the little corners. See, you don't need to put much. Put it here and just leave it. Then, this will attract the cockroaches and they're gonna eat it. This mixture really solved my problem. But, here's a warning. If you have pets, like dogs, cats, whatever, make sure to put it in places where they don't have access so they won't eat it. That's also why I like to keep it in a cabinet, because I put it here and close it and my pets don't have access. Alright folks? And again, this really solved my cockroach problem. So that's it. You can put it here, you can put it in dryers too, also behind the wardrobe. If this isn't the best, it's one of the best homemade poison you can make to eliminate mice and cockroaches at home. 